Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. This is an intermediate to advanced power yoga class, so let's just go ahead and get started. Laying down on our mat, bringing both knees in towards the chest, or maybe coming into happy baby by grabbing the outsides of the feet, elbows stay to the insides of your knees, and take a few moments here to connect with your breath, in and out through the nose. Make sure you're keeping the entire length of your spine down onto the mat, so don't let your tailbone curl up and keep your head and shoulders relaxed down. Gently pulling your knees down towards the ground, stacking ankles over your knees. And let's start with abdominal exercises today, interlacing both hands behind your neck, both legs reach up towards the ceiling and as you inhale curl head and shoulders up and as you exhale cross your right thigh over your left twisting towards your right inhale back to center exhale left thigh crosses over twisting towards the left inhale back to center curl tailbone up exhale to twist right leg over left inhale center Exhale, left over right, twist towards your left thigh. Inhale, center, curl everything up. Exhale, twist once more, right thigh over left, back to center. Exhale, left thigh over right. Inhale, center, both shoulder blades off of the mat. Twist once more, right leg over left. Come back to center, curl tailbone up. Left thigh twists over right back to the midline curl head and shoulders up twisting once more right thigh over left inhale center exhale left thigh comes over your right one bring it back curl head and shoulders up tailbone up and go ahead and release down slowly lowering your legs all the way down onto the mat take a few breaths here to lengthen out and then when you're ready just reach for the backs of your thighs and start rocking up until you make your way into a tabletop position, palms underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. A few rounds of cat and cow, inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze. Exhale, round your spine, chin to chest. Inhale, drop your belly, squeeze your shoulder blades. Exhale, curl tailbone under. A few more with the rhythm of your own breath. Extending through the spine on the inhale and contracting on the exhale. Coming back to a neutral spine, let's move into downward facing dog. Press down through your heels, grounding down through your knuckles. Relax head and shoulders here. Slowly inhale forward into plank. Exhale back into downward dog. A few more just like that. Inhale, come forward, shoulders over wrists, drop your hips. Exhale, send your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, forward. Exhale, send it back, move with your breath here. Inhale, come forward, shoulders over wrists and lower down, chaturanga, pushing back into downward facing dog. Look to the top of the mat and step both feet forward, hanging heavy in a ragdoll stance. Maybe grabbing for opposite elbows, swaying from side to side, bend your knees as much as you need to here. Slowly bend your knees, press all the way up to stand, moving for our first flows. Inhale, both arms rise, reach up overhead. Exhale, swan dive. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, plant both feet back, lower push up. Inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, downward dog. Right leg rises up on the inhale, stepping your right foot forward, left knee lowers down onto the mat. Inhale, both arms rise up, low lunge. Exhale, plant both palms down, right foot meets left, lower your push up. Upward facing dog downward dog on the exhale switching sides left leg rises up stepping your left foot up to the center of your mat lowering your right knee down arms reach up as you breathe in exhale ground your palm step your right foot forward to the top of the mat halfway lift on the inhale exhale to fold forward press the stand arms reach up overhead 
exhale swan dive let it go halfway lift back is flat plant your palms step both feet back lowering your push-up upward dog exhale back into downward facing dog right leg rises towards the sky on the inhale stepping your right foot forward to the top of the mat arms reach up overhead staying high on the ball of your left toes crescent lunge exhale plant your palms right foot steps back lower your chaturanga inhale upward facing dog exhale downward dog switching sides left leg reaches up steps towards the top of your mat staying high on the ball of your right toes arms reach up crescent lunge exhale plant your palms step to the top of your mat halfway lift exhale fold forward press to stand both arms reach up overhead right away exhale swan dive halfway lift breathe in exhale plant your palms step both feet back lower chaturanga inhale upward facing dog exhale hips go up and back downward dog left leg rises up on the inhale and as you exhale step your left foot forward to the top of the mat coming back up into crescent lunge arms reach up exhale plant your palms float your left leg up as you lower into chaturanga inhale upward facing dog exhale downward dog same thing second side right leg rises up towards the sky stepping it to the top of the mat as you exhale coming on up crescent lunge hips underneath your shoulders exhale plant your palms keep your right leg floating up as you lower your chaturanga inhale upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog take a breath here sending your hips up and back and then lightly hop in between your palms to the top of the mat halfway lift when you get there exhale folding down sink your hips bend your knees coming into chair pose utkatasana both arms come up overhead biceps alongside your ears keep your belly pressing in towards your back tailbone is slightly curling under bring both palms to heart center moving into a twist right elbow hooks over left thigh press your palms firmly in together trying to bring them to the center of your chest make this twist come from your lower belly lower spine and not just from your shoulders keep both hips in line and then lightly step your right foot back so that you're back into this crescent lunge pose maintaining your twist you can choose to keep your hands in prayer or open up through the arms gaze can look up or stay centered stay high on the ball of your right toes palms come back up lift your head and shoulders and chest up crescent lunge opening up into warrior two on the exhale back foot is parallel to the short edge of your mat bending into your left knee shoulders directly over top of your hips exalted warrior left arm lifts up towards the sky side bend no compression on either side still bending that left knee firmly breathe into the left side of your ribs coming into extended side angle left palm comes down on the ground right bicep comes by your right ear keep your hips low here if the ground is not accessible, you can always use a block we're only here for two more breaths keep opening that right shoulder up don't collapse forward lower your right palm down onto the ground coming into lizard pose so you might need to step your left foot a couple inches towards the side Flex your left foot, opening up your left knee so that the stretch comes more towards your left glute. Keeping your right knee off of the mat for extra strength. Lower down onto your forearms for three more breaths. Deep into the belly, shoulders are still away from the ears. Bring your left knee back to center, come back onto your palms. Left foot meets right, lowering your push up inhale upward facing dog exhale move your hips up and back into downward dog moving on to the second side look between your hands 
hop both feet forward halfway lift on the inhale exhale forward fold press to stand arms reach up overhead moving into chair pose bending your knees sinking your hips both palms come to heart center moving to our twist on the second side left elbow comes over top your right thigh make sure your left knee did not come forward here keep lowering your shoulder blades down your back find your alignment here put all of your weight into your right foot start to get light into your left foot as you step it back for this crescent lunge twist variation maybe keeping your palms at heart center or opening up the arms reaching left fingertips down and right fingertips up you should still be able to breathe fully here bring your palms back to center inhale arms reach up into crescent lunge exhale opening up into warrior two bending into your right knee left foot is parallel to the short edge of your mat take one deep breath here and as you exhale let's come into exalted warrior right arm rises up towards the sky feeling the extension through your right side body here still keeping that right shoulder down though notice if it's coming up all the way to your ear keep trying to bring your right thigh parallel towards the ground as we move into extended side angle your right palm is down onto the ground left bicep along your ear maintain a strong core here don't let your upper body collapse down onto the ground and let's transition back into lizard pose toe heel your right foot to the edge of your mat opening up your right knee and maybe choosing to stay on your palms or lowering down onto your forearms your left knee stays off of the mat for extra strength taking three more breaths here Keep your hips low as you bring your right knee back to center coming back onto your palms right foot meets left chaturanga inhale upward dog exhale come into downward facing dog start lowering your knees down onto the mat we're going to prep for dolphin pose here bring your forearms down onto the ground making sure that you can grab for opposite biceps and then curl your toes under sending your hips up and back Make sure that your head is not touching the ground and come high up on the balls of your toes. As you inhale, right leg reaches up, holding here for five breaths. Really feel the strength through your shoulders here. Keep rolling that right hip down. Switching legs, left leg comes up, lowering that left hip down so both are squared distributing the weight evenly between both shoulders keeping your head off of the mat lower your left leg down take a few more breaths in dolphin start walking your feet back moving through forearm plank until you slowly lower your hips back down onto the ground coming into sphinx pose pulling your heart in between your shoulders broadening through the collarbones keeping your shoulders down away from your ears and let's move into bow pose grabbing onto both ankles keeping your forehead down and as you inhale lift chin chest and knees off of the ground squeezing your inner thighs together shoulder blades squeeze together engage your abdominals here flex your toes two more breaths and slowly lower down onto the mat turning one ear down toes come to face each other and take a few deep belly breaths here to release your lower back 
plant your palms underneath your shoulders, reverse your push up, coming back into downward facing dog. Look to the top of the mat, step both feet forward, halfway lift on the inhale, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, press to stand, arms reach up overhead, exhale right away, swan dive, folding forward, halfway lift, and then plant your palms, hopping back through chaturanga as you lower down, inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog, right leg rises up towards the sky, stepping your right foot forward, spinning your back left foot at a 45 degree angle, coming up into warrior one, arms reach up overhead, both hips are squared towards the front of your mat, bending deeply into your right knee, and then let's interlace our fingers behind our sacrum, coming into a slight back bend, really more of a heart opener here, keep tucking your tailbone under. You should not be feeling any pinching in your lower back here. Take one more inhale, and as you exhale, dive to the inside of your right thigh, lifting your knuckles off of your sacrum, letting your head be heavy, neck is relaxed. Use the strength of both legs here. Don't let your right thigh do all of the work for you. Keep pressing firmly through your left heel. Slowly come back up into your warrior one stance, and we'll prepare to come into pyramid pose here. So you might need to step your back foot in a few inches, straightening your right knee, bringing palms to heart center as you start to fold forward, maintaining a flat back here. So don't go all of the way just yet. Choose to keep your palms at heart center or maybe reach your fingertips forward, bringing your biceps alongside your ears, engaging your abdominals here to protect your lower back. Choose to stay there or drop your head down, coming into your fold. Keep squaring your left hip to the top of the mat here. Don't let it open up. Halfway lift on the inhale and let's come into standing splits. Left leg rises up towards the sky. Choose to keep your fingertips down onto the ground or maybe hook on to your ankle. Keep your gaze focused here. Left leg lowers to meet right, halfway lift. Exhale, fold it down and press to stand. Arms reach up overhead, palms come to touch. Swan dive on the exhale, halfway lift, just like we've done. Plant your palms, hop your feet back, lower chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, moving back through downward dog, second side. This time left leg reaches up. Step your left foot forward, spinning your right heel down at a 45 degree angle, warrior one, second side, squaring your right hip forward towards the top of the mat. And once again, we'll interlace our fingers behind our back, the more unusual way this time, rolling shoulders up and back as you come into your back bend. Broadening through the collarbones, looking up, still curling your tailbone under, lunging deeply into your left knee, and as you exhale, come back into your warrior one, diving to the inside of your left thigh this time, lifting both knuckles or all knuckles off of your sacrum. Keep rolling your right hip down, distributing your weight evenly through both legs. And slowly come on up. Let go of the interlace of your fingers, arms reach up, coming into pyramid pose, stepping your right foot in a few inches, palms come to heart center. As you lower down, back is flat, keep your palms into your chest or reach your arms out, biceps alongside your ears. Take two breaths here, belly is firm and engaged. And then go ahead and lower your fingertips down onto the mat, letting your head be heavy. Spine can round just a little bit, breathing deep into your left hamstrings. Always reminding yourself to pull that right hip forward, even though it probably wants to open up a little. Transitioning into your standing splits, right leg comes up, maybe grabbing onto your ankle with both hands or keeping your fingertips down onto the mat.
Lower your right foot down next to your left. Halfway lift on the inhale. Exhale to fold forward. Press to stand. Both arms reach up overhead. And then lower your palms to the center of your chest, taking a few moments here. Inhale, both arms reach up, palms come to touch. Exhale, swan dive forward. Halfway lift, and then plant your palms, hop back, lower chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, send your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Right leg rises towards the sky, and this time bend your right knee, opening up your right hip. Step your right foot forward to the top of the mat. Left heel pivots down at a 45 degree angle. Warrior one, arms reach up. Interlace your fingers, releasing your thumb and index. Both biceps squeeze towards your ears, moving into your back bend, holding for three breaths here. Still curling your tailbone under. And as you exhale, start to lean forward, hovering at a 45 degree angle over your thigh creating a nice long line from your index all the way down to your left heel. Slowly kick up, coming into warrior three, bringing your palms at heart center. Left leg rises up, keep rolling that left hip down so that both hips are squared. And as you exhale, bend your right knee. Inhale, straighten up again. Exhale, bend your right knee, sinking your hips. Inhale, straighten back up. Last one. Exhale, bend your right knee slowly. Come back up as you inhale and come back to standing, bringing your left knee with you. You're going to grab your left big toe with your two right peace fingers, extending that left leg out in front of you and opening your left arm back. So coming into a twist with a leg extension. Keep both hips facing and squared towards the top of your mat. Come back to center, crossing your left ankle over your right thigh. We'll transition to flying pigeon. So start sinking your hips back, bending your knees, and then you'll plant both palms down onto the mat underneath your shoulders and slowly start to Lean your weight forward until your right toes can lift off of the mat and maybe stay here in perching pigeon or work at extending that right leg up and back, lifting it as high up as you can go. Engage your abdominals here, stay strong through your shoulders and keep breathing. Bring your right leg back and slowly make your way back up to stand. Keep your left leg crossed over, unhooking it, and step to the top of the mat, second side, arms reach up, palms come to touch, swan dive as you exhale. Halfway lift, plant your palms, hop back, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, moving back through downward dog. Left leg rises towards the sky, bend your right, left knee, opening up that hip. Keep both shoulders square down, stepping your left foot forward. Right heel spins back at a 45 degree angle, coming into warrior one. Interlace your fingers, releasing your thumb and index, come into your back bend. Broaden through your collarbones as you look up. And as you exhale, start to tilt forward at a 45 degree angle, creating that nice long diagonal line squeezing your biceps towards your shoulders but still lowering your shoulders down away from your ears. Keep pulling your left hip back, right hip forward, transitioning into warrior three, palms come to your chest, right leg lifts up and as you exhale bend your left knee, inhale straighten back up two more, exhale Bend your left knee, sink your hips, inhale to straighten, last one, exhale, bend down, inhale to come up, bring your right knee in with you, hook onto your right big toe with your two left peace fingers, extend your right leg forward as your right arm reaches back.
come back to center, hooking your right ankle over your left thigh, coming into flying pigeon on the second side. Sink your hips back, bend your knees, and slowly bring your palms down onto the mat underneath your shoulders. Keep your elbows slightly bent and really hook your left toes over your biceps as you rock forward, maybe lifting your left toes off of the mat or maybe working at extending that left leg out. The further forward you allow your chest to go, the easier it'll be for your leg to lift off of the floor. Find stability before you bring it all back, pressing back up to stand releasing down arms come to either side of your body stepping to the top of the mat arms reach up palms come to touch folding forward halfway lift plant your palms hop back through chaturanga inhale upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog right leg rises right away as you inhale and as you exhale bring your right knee to your right tricep coming into ikapada kundinyasana 2 both legs float up keep your head off of the floor and then hop back through chaturanga upward facing dog exhale downward dog second side left leg rises towards the sky bring your left knee to your left tricep bending at the elbows ikapada 2 both legs lift off Hopping it back through chaturanga, inhale upward dog, exhale downward facing dog. Slowly start to lower your knees onto the mat and please make your way down onto your back, laying down. And let's hug both knees in towards the chest, maybe rocking gently from side to side, massaging the lower back. Extend your left leg out onto the floor, hugging your right knee in. Grab onto your toes or to your foot as you extend your right leg up towards the sky. Open up your right leg towards the side, taking a few more breaths here. Keeping both hips and both shoulder blades down on the mat. Inhale back to center, switching sides. Left knee hugs in, right leg extends out. And then grab onto your left foot as you extend it off and out towards the ceiling, maybe grabbing onto the big toe with your two piece fingers, taking a few moments here. Right heel stays firmly planted down on the mat. And then go ahead and open up your left leg towards the side. center on the inhale release your legs down cross your right ankle over your left thigh as you pull your left knee in towards your chest modified laying pigeon keep your hips grounded down on the mat here don't let your tailbone curl up keep your shoulders away from your ears starting to unwind from our practice breathe down deep into your hips Release your legs, switching sides, left ankle over right thigh, pulling right knee in towards your chest. Keep your left foot firmly flexed to protect your knee.
slowly release we'll prep for a twist dropping both knees over onto the left maybe crossing right thigh over as you let both knees come down try to keep both shoulder blade down on the mat here breathing deep into the belly to release your lower back Taking three more very deep belly breaths. Bring your knees back to center and crossing your legs, switching sides. This time both knees come over onto the right, maybe hooking your left thigh over your right before setting your knees down. Three more very deep breaths here. Lift both knees back to center and let's come into Shavasana, our final resting pose. Extending both legs out in front of you, arms come out to either side, palms facing up towards the sky, and take as long as you need here in this pose. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope you enjoyed. Please take the time to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a wonderful day. Namaste.